Hey guys, how's it going? Jamie here, and today I'm going to be playing some Minecraft, and uh, my first video on Minecraft is going to be how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Now this is going to be my new series, and uh, I'm just basically going to be showing you how to survive your first night, and then it's going to be my Minecraft survival series, where I'm just basically going to play Minecraft. What is this horse doing? I'm quite worried already. I think they're ganging up on me. I think, I think they are. I mean, no? Yeah, they're cool. My legs don't seem to move, which is kind of weird. So yeah, to survive your first night in Minecraft, it's not really that difficult. Hopefully you're in your world and it's daytime, you've got the sun out. And uh, I'm not really going to do this as an in-depth tutorial because it's pretty easy to work out. Obviously, WASD to move about and then to move like your character to look about, you use your mouse and then space to jump. And um, if you double tap W, you can sprint and you can sprint and jump down blocks and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're in a pretty cool biome here. Uh, biome is basically just like different areas. So this biome, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, over there, you can see we have like one of the new biomes in 1.8. Uh, I think that came out in like 1.7.4, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, biome is basically the area they're in. So if, if you're like, if there's, snow any er if, if there's snow everywhere, you're in like a snow biome. If you're in like jung a jungle area, like jungle trees and all these vines and that, obviously you're in a jungle biome. And a biome is basically that. And uh, also mobs are like mobs of the animals and like the creatures in here. So a horse is a mob. It's obviously called a horse. And you can get like skeletons. That's a mob. So anything that is a character apart from yourself is a mob. Um, I'm not even sure if your class is a mob. But like, sheep's are mobs. Um, although sheep and horses and that aren't harmful, they're still classed as a mob. Um, I'm not really too sure why. Uh, but yeah, just come to like your nearest tree. Uh, if you if you can't see any trees, just run about somewhere. The world is infinite. Uh, if you're on PC, that is. I'm not sure if it's infinite on Xbox or PlayStation yet. I'm not too sure. I haven't played it in such a long time. Just come up to a tree and you will see, when you look at a block, there's like a black outline. And if I look at different blocks, you can see the outline goes across and if it's on the floor. But uh, you can't, like, get a tree over there or, like, I can get these leaves, but I can't get the leaves over here. You've got to be, like, five blocks close to it at least. Three, four, five. Let me just count. Yeah, five blocks. I don't think you can hit anything six blocks away. But we're going to start cutting down a tree with our mouse, so hold down your left button uh, on your mouse and you'll start to break, you'll start to break a block. Uh, don't like click it because nothing will happen, you've got to hold it down and then you'll see like the, the breaking animation in the block. And when it gets towards the, towards the edge, it will break, you can sort of get a clearer view there just like that. And uh, physics in Minecraft, there's basically no such thing as gravity, uh, for trees that is. Uh, there is gravity, obviously you can jump and you can fall. And um, there's a few blocks in here like sand and gravel that can fall. Um, but Stuff like this, like trees, wood, leaves, they can float, and um, they don't have any gravity. So, um, when you're in the daytime, uh, still watch your back because you can get creepers, which are another type of mob. And basically, they're called a creeper because you can't hear them. They creep up behind you, and then all you'll hear is like a little hissing sound. Like, like a, <laughs> basically just a hissing sound. That was such a bad, like, <laughs> that was not even what they sound like. They just make a hissing sound, and then before, like, you have any time to run away or escape or turn around, they blow up and they kill you. Obviously, that's depending if you don't have any armor, which I'll get into a more, uh, like, more depth when I, when I just play Minecraft. So, um, yeah, just get enough wood. Uh, I'll come back to this tree later because we don't need all of it. 17 is fine. 17 is good and um, if you found any water I'd recommend staying around it because you can go you can grow crops around it um, obviously if you uh, if you're surviving your first night this isn't really a problem but also if there's creepers about uh, creepers are like yeah the mob I was talking about the things that blow up they're little green things and um, yeah they're like the same height as your character which is like two blocks I think which is like two meters or something like that um, they can't blow up in water, uh, they can blow up, they can damage you, but I don't think they can blow up blocks because uh, obviously uh, they can like blow up blocks and they make a big hole and it's a big mess and it's quite annoying to clear up, but that didn't sound right. Um, so yeah, like stay close to water, it's quite a, a cool thing to stay around and um, you can just sort of, yeah, just stay close to water because if you're going to build like a farm, well not like a farm, but if you're going to create an area where you want to get crops growing so you can make bread and make food then stay near water because you need it to help grow your food now what you want to do is I would recommend um, we've got some mushroom trees here I wouldn't recommend mushroom trees <laughs> uh, I just recommend like staying near water as I've said a million times and that sheep just pushed him into the water you are something evil basically what we're gonna do is we need to make a shelter so anywhere if you are 
in a massive hill and uh, oh, I've got a sapling which falls from a tree and uh, then you can right click on the floor put it back down and it'll grow another tree again um, so yeah no matter what buy uh, but what biome you're in what we're gonna find is some coal or anything to make light and uh, light is gonna be something that we need because when the Sun goes down the moon's gonna come up and that's when all the mobs come out all the bad mobs are gonna come and kill you which you don't want so just find any hole and I recommend starting to make sort of a step down Now the number one please tell me that's your tail <laughs> the, no the number one rule in Minecraft is don't dig straight down because um, if you dig straight down obviously you can't see where you're going but there's a thing called lava and it is a thing in real life and um, you don't want to hit lava because you'll die and burn to death so here I've hit some stone and I can't get past stone. I can get past it with my fist if I punch it, but it's going to take a while and I will not pick up the item. Uh, so I, what I want to make is a crafting table. So if you press E, you bring up your inventory, grab your wood, uh, your log, and bring it over into this crafting area and you can see your character here. Uh, if you're new to Minecraft, then this probably isn't going to be your character. It's going to be something else. It'll be called Steve. He's just like another character that you get like as a default character and um, you get stuff like this when you put uh, wood, uh, oak, uh, sorry not oak wood if you get like a log put it in the crafting area you get wood like this and if you right click it splits it in half and I'm gonna hold shift hold shift down and click and it's gonna give me all eight of those because if I just did it like this and clicked as you can see I've got to keep on clicking and doing it but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep some logs because you can make torches out of logs you can make charcoal to make torches and that's just in case we don't find any coal so now we're going to get our planks, not our log, and we're going to hold down right click and we're going to drag across, fill up our crafting area and we get a crafting table. Now you get an achievement, all you've got to do is get your crafting table, right click on the ground and there's your crafting table. And now we want to get down on the ground pretty quick because the sun's going down, the stars are coming out and the moon is about to come up and all the mobs are going to come out and kill us. So right click on your crafting table and it brings up a 3x3 three three area instead of a 2x2. Two two. And uh, we can craft lots of other stuff in here. We can craft every item in Minecraft in here. So you want to do this, get some sticks and then drag down and we're going to make the, the handle of a pickaxe. And then we can use wood on the top here to make a wooden pickaxe just like that. Click and drag, create it and there you go. Now you can get past this. And you can pick up the cobblestone and obviously with stone um, it turns into cobblestone when you break it what it does is um, cobblestone is just basically a building block but you can make tools out of it and um, it's a lot stronger than something like this which is a wooden pickaxe which you don't really want because it's pretty slow and uh, what we're gonna do is before any other mob starts to come out and I can already see a skeleton over there little, little bitch we're gonna we're gonna hide in here and um, we're going to dig out a little wall where we can put our crafting table and all that stuff. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, so we want to get a torch down. And yep, as you can see, it's all dark now. The moon is up. All the horses and sheep are still about. They're all fine. They're not going to get damaged or anything. And there's a skeleton. So we're going to hide in our hole and we can put our crafting table down and we are going to make ourselves a furnace with the cobblestone that we've got so we do this with our cobblestone in our crafting table and you get a furnace and what I'm gonna do now is just make this a bigger area so we can have more room and we can basically hide in here and now we can pop our furnace down and it's the same thing as a crafting table but instead of crafting items you can smelt items and make other things like with this log you can put your log in I'm gonna put one and I'll put one wood in and basically what this does is it burns the wood and then burns um, the log and this arrow then is going to bring out what is going to be here which is going to be charcoal and we can make torches with our charcoal and um, just for purposes of the video um, what I've got I've, uh, I've just installed a mod which gives me all bright so everything is going to be really bright so if I put a torch down nothing happens but when you play Minecraft, because obviously you're going to be new to it, you might not have any mods. You might already, if you do, then you might already know quite a lot about Minecraft. Um, uh, when you put a torch down, um, it's going to light up the area because all this would be dark, but it's not all dark for me because um, I've installed a mod just so that you can see everything. Because if I was down here now digging and I hadn't had the torch, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And I want you to be able to see everything. I swear that horse is up to something. <laughs> and uh, I want you to be able to see the video um, so you know what I'm doing and basically what's going on and um, so yeah we've got our, our nice little hidey hole 
and um, we've made our little torch and this is basically going to be the place to sleep tonight and um, what I'm going to do is make a sword just like so you can make it out of wood if you don't have any stone left and we make a sword and what we can do now is we can be we can go out but you still have to be pretty careful because things can creep up on you so just sort of scan your area make sure there's nothing about as you can see there's skeletons over there and a zombie what we're going to do is we're going to kill some sheep to make a bed so still just watch watch your back watch out that you don't get killed and we're going to kill a sheep and you get raw mutton and you get some wool and um, you need three wool to make a bed and basically a bed if you die you will spawn back next to your bed if you haven't like picked your bed up or broken it or anything and um, I think this horse is actually like guarding my area if anything comes by I'm still worried that that's not his tail, oh here's his tail, phew phew so um yeah now we can make a bed and it's as simple as wood on the floor just like that and a bed uh, and a wall on there to make our bed so now we're gonna make a, a little bit of a bigger area to plonk our bed down and we found some coal perfect coal is what we need and I'm just gonna break this up and we're gonna make a little bedroom to put our bed in so now we can sleep through the night it's only gonna take a couple of seconds you just get in your bed and then it will start to get dark because you're closing your eyes getting to sleep and you wake up and it's gonna be daytime the sun is up hopefully all the mobs are gone because in the daytime they burn but uh, they hide under trees just like that skeleton there that skeleton there but that zombie's dumb and he's out and he's just gonna die and uh, from the sheep we've got some raw mutton and if you see next to the number one here uh, this is your XP so whenever you kill stuff this level goes up by this bar and this goes on to another thing called enchanting which is quite more in-depth which I'll get into which I'll probably get in my let's play hopefully and um, as you can see here my food bar has gone down because we've been running about fighting uh, killing sheep so we're gonna put our raw mutton into our furnace get some coal or some wood or some log and uh, whilst that's melting I can carry on getting this coal and basically all that is gonna do is cook the food so that we can uh, eat it uh, you can eat it raw but it's not gonna heal as many hearts uh, sorry as many food bars and um, obviously next to the food bar their hearts right there and hearts that's just your health and uh, basically if you like take full damage or whatever you'll lose health if you get shot by a skeleton or a zombie starts to eat you your food will uh, your health bar will go down and you need to have your food all the way up to heal uh, you can actually have your food bar like this but it'll heal slowly anything past this bit here uh, and if like you have from here down your you won't heal your heart so you have to have uh, at least two here for it to heal slowly or a full bar to heal pretty quick and if you're on half a heart say because you can go down to half hearts this will go up in about about a minute it will be full so it's pretty good pretty quick and there's our quick mutton all you got to do is hover over it hold down right click and you eat your raw mutton and there we go and um, as you can see I got some XP from smelting stuff which is pretty good so that has been how to survive your first night in minecraft you can basically go off you can start to build a house you can work on anything you want you can upgrade your downstairs you can <laughs> no you can upgrade your mine your mine house not your downstairs <laughs> that wasn't really a funny joke that was pretty crap um but yeah and there's a spider over there um so yeah you can basically work on whatever you want to now um obviously daytime's gonna come so just make sure on the time uh, when the sun goes far down uh, over to here then you might want to start getting home getting to bed and being able to sleep through the night but um, yeah that is basically how to survive your first night in Minecraft it's pretty easy and straightforward when you know what you're doing and uh, hopefully you do know what you're doing now after watching this video and uh, there's a creeper that's what a creeper looks like so guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, if it's helped you and you have enjoyed the video please drop a like I'm about to burp pardon me sore throat and um yeah so this is uh, the start of my minecraft survival uh, next episode will be um basically just playing minecraft i'm not going to be doing how to survive your first night or anything because we've just done that i'm basically just be playing minecraft and we'll build a house and we'll do loads of other little things so i will see you guys next time thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate you for watching uh, like the video and uh, as always see you guys next time adios my friends